we will try to build something like this this mechanism using the step motor one gear some pulley it will be something like this so we need to create the holder the adapter the pulley the frame which holds the gear and to keep it on some base first we need to build model for step model what we need we need to take the motor and measure the dimensions for instance this is kind of cube with 41 almost 42 millimeters and the depth is 46.9 42 so we draw the rectangle if I press stop I can change the numbers and these numbers can be also just type it and you will see it on the on this field but we have two numbers here so we need to type it like this and press stop this is square with 42 and 42 millimeters then we can pull it to 46 point nine millimeters and this looks like a, a shape of our motor right uh, we can also see that this motor has some cuts here and it is a uh, is to build initially the correct shape so I press Ctrl Z to undo and to use the uh, geometry the little geometry uh, possibility so I draw the line and draw parallel line with the Two millimeters distance then I draw horizontal uh, vertical line somewhere and parallel to this line is also 42 millimeters and I also can uh, build the uh, find the center on this so it will be and I actually can put the number like uh, for 21 but I can also put some equation like I know this is 42 divided by 2 and it will be 21 and if I click here I find again 42 divided by 2 it will be 21 so we have the center and uh, what we can do, we can find out the distance between these cuts and this 53.34 so the idea is that uh, actually we can turn it like this, view, viewport and feed it and we can uh, so we need uh, such cuts 45 uh, degrees so we can put point and angle point and some angle if I type 45 we have 45 actually I can also use the two points in geometry like this and this and now I need to 
just draw some line like this starting from this uh, center so 53.4 let's check it again 53.5 so it will be parallel from here 53.4 divided by 2 and the same 53.4 divided by 2 ok and let's do it again I just click it uh, on this button because this last you use it uh, geometry 53.2 divided by 2 and 50 oh no actually so This actually geometry can help us just to draw the lines on it. And we close the loop. If we don't close the loop, we cannot pull it. So now we can pull it. And this is for direction, backward direction. I will put it backward direction on the distance of uh, 46, 47 47 so you see this is minus but here we have the direction so I don't put the number the sign so this is part of the motor uh, next we need to create the this uh, cycle and then I have to delete the geometry so it will not put pull the geometry anymore I can just delete one part of the loop so you see if I try to loop it doesn't find the loop which can be pulled so what we do we measure the diameter this 21.9 draw the cycle from the center 21.9 this is actually radius so we divide it by 2 right and now we need to pull it on the depth of 1.9 pull 1.9 we need to start pulling the or extruding in some cases it's called extruding like in uh, uh, blender and the shaft this one we don't need this cut does make sense so we need to pull the shaft with diameter five millimeters and on the depth 22 starting from this side 22.3 so five millimeters um, we cannot pull it from from the surface we can uh, we have to draw the geometry to the geometry on this surface for this reason I will turn it this one off for a while we create the project geometry on the surface on this one and you see it recognizes the uh, geometry actually and if we find uh, we use the cross you can see this has uh, 
center of this geometry already. So it recognizes all the geometry. Exactly, uh, actually we don't need the cross now, but it is uh, useful. No, we don't need it because if we try to draw the cycle, cycle it suggests to or snaps to some center or some angles or some borders. So click here and we need 5 millimeters and this radius divided by 2. So and we pull it to distance 22. This looks like this one. Now we need uh, to drill these holes. So I measure the distance between the holes. Internal forty point eighty six, and the diameter internal diameter two fifty two. Distance between center is the internal internal distance between the holes minus the diameter of the hole, right? Because this is part of this and this is one diameter. So we calculate the 40.8 plus 40.8 plus 2.6. Use the exaggerated geometry. Uh -huh. And we need this workspace, it should be active. Uh, we can turn off for a while this, delete this cycle. This is divided by 2 because this radius we can do we can click here and change the radius 40.6 minus 2.5 we have already centers of these holes so we need to just drill the draw the draw the cycles for these holes and this is uh, holes for the balls of three uh, millimeters three m so uh, I need the hole for such unit 1.5 radius. Now we turn on the part. and remove the material remove the material from draw the whole part now we see this more or less similar to what we have right and this can be used as a basis for uh, rest of the mechanism. Let's rename it. Rename. 
I don't think we need this. Workspaces, uh, workplanes, and save it as our project. As a PK. Okay. 